Let us explore 10 gram and understand what are similar and congruent shapes. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you are enjoying working with 10 grams. As you know, one 10 gram has 7 pieces. So let me number them. So this big triangle I am numbering as 1 and that one as 2. So let's start numbering them as 1, 2 and this 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So that becomes a diagram which represents our 10 gram. Correct? Now here we have different shapes. Triangle, triangle, parallelogram, triangle, square, triangle and another triangle. Now let's understand which shapes are similar. Similar means that their shape is same but their size is not necessarily same, right? So let's look for similar pieces or similar trans. So these seven pieces are individually called trans. So can you name similar trans? For example, one and two are similar, right? Exactly same size and they are same shape, right? They are similar. When we say similar, then size may or may not be same, right? If it is same, even then they are similar. Now, 1, 2 is also similar to 4, 5 and 7. So, 1, 2, 4, 5, not 5, 5 is a square, 1, 2, 4, 6 and 7. They are all similar since they are triangles with exactly same shape. Their sizes may be different, right? But all of them are similar. It is important to understand that similar means same shape. Size could be same or different. Well, when we talk about congruent shapes, then what? Congruent shapes means that both size and shape is same, right? So, which ones are congruent? So, let's number the congruent trans. Then, 1 and 2 is congruent. So, that is one set. Then, we can say 4 and 6 is congruent, right? 4 and 6 is congruent. So, these two triangles are same. So if I put one over the other, it will totally overlap. So they have exactly same shape and size. So that is called congruent, right? So what do you also understand from here? That if the shapes are congruent, then they are also similar. Do you understand? They are also similar, right? So let me show you what is congruent. So if I say these two triangles are congruent, then placing one over the other will really hide it, right? And this triangle, if I place it on the other one, it hides it equally well. So these two triangles are congruent for us, right? These are congruent triangles 4 and 6. Similarly, the big triangle, right? They are congruent because if I place any of the triangle over it, it totally hides it, right? So, it is congruent. If I place this big triangle on trans number 2, it again hides it. Perfectly same size and same shape, right? So, that is the meaning of congruent. But when you are talking about similar, then they are either same size or not, but shape has to be similar. So this is similar. Do you see that? These are both similar triangles. They have all equal angles. So this angle is equal to that angle. This angle is equal to that angle. This angle is equal to this angle. But their size is not necessarily same. So the important thing here is that size may or may not be same, right? So this is similar. These two are similar. And so, let me just place it 
on the other triangles you saw congruent triangles will be similar to and if I place it on this triangle triangle number 7 or trans 7 you see they are also similar so we have 1 2 4 6 and 7 as similar trans and the congruent ones are 1 and 2 are congruent and 4 and 6 are congruent I hope what this you understand what is similarity between similar and congruent shapes now the question is if two shapes are congruent will they always be similar true or false if the shapes are similar will they always be congruent true or false let me know thank you and all the best